What's up guys, it's Shuggy Akimo. This is a new series I would will be doing. Uh, this is uh, Would You Rather Scanner Edition. This is part, episode one. And I'm with... Portalmaster9351! And, uh... <laughs> yeah, so this is just a Would You Rather. Uh, battle mode or uh, no PvP battle mode? No brainer. I want <laughs> PvP. Oh, I want PvP. I would personally choose... Uh, of course, PvP, and also want like different modes like Chaos Doom Challenge and stuff as well in the future games. Uh, Cali or Tessa? De definitely for me, I'd have to pick Cali. But um, the thing is, Tessa. It would be cool to have Tessa too, but Cali, character-wise, I really like more than Tessa. See, the thing with Tessa for me is that I don't like the way Tessa like is completely obsessed with Flynn, but I like her on her own. The thing is, though, with Callie, I like her with Flynn and without Flynn, so I gotta go with Callie. Cores or bigger Skylanders? Uh, for me, it would be Cores, but I do want to make sure both, if they decide to make, a, of course, a Skylander 7 or maybe 8. This might be in a Skylander 8. Um, what do you, you think about that? I like the method they took in Superchargers the most, but if I honestly had to pick between cores or, like, bigger characters, I'd have to go with cores, especially compared to senseis, because senseis literally look like statues and not toys. Uh, Imagineers map or Academy? Uh, I want to make sure both. This is easy for me. I just like how big the map is, but I do like the scenery of Academy. Um, I really thought they would do that in Imaginators and in the first place, but they turned it into like a more of a Super Mario type like side scrolling. Well, not side scrolling, but like how the um, point, the map, map the ma overworld map. Um, if they could make Academy big, because uh, Academy didn't have a purpose in Imagineers that much, so I would like to see them just combine them both and just not have Aca Academy just like separate, just like have the maps in Academy. What they should have done is basically taken the level select and put that in the academy, but put the elemental zones in the map, and yeah, like the other, the side levels, the smaller levels should have been in the map. They should never have put the main level select in the map, because it ended up just being way too spread out, and the academy had like nothing to go, like, there was no way to explore the academy, and that really bothered me. So, I personally would have to say the academy. But maybe with like a few extra like open worldness of the map. Um, this is only uh, one thing. Uh, bringing back light light cores. I personally want them to bring back light cores, whether it's in like a just a new big figure or if it's like a new light core wave of figures, make them light core and probably don't even call it light core. Just call it void. Or Krakatoa, if they those characters ended up being real in the future, just call it by their name. Just no, don't have a light one there. But mention that these figures do light up on the packaging, of course. Yeah, yeah, I have to totally agree. Every Skylander ever created should be light core. Every single Skylander. Yeah, or just like if they bring back light cores, I want like a wheat pose light core or something. But I don't even know. If I want weak boys, uh, we pose as back because they're probably just gonna make another salt though. But that's yeah. what I'm afraid of. I I don't want weak pose. But as I back. do want boys back in PvP, and I think we both agreed on that. Uh, Gilgwant and or Trigger Happy. It's like a sky, uh, old Skylander that they use all the time. It's kind of like uh, which or like would you rather on those? Um, Gilgwant or Trigger Happy? I would definitely rather have Trigger Happy more. If I had to, I don't necessarily like Gilgwant's play style at all either. But um, you would say, what would I you say? Personally, I personally prefer Gilgrunt, Yeah, yeah. I, I, that's I a difference. Really there. That's a difference there. Uh, Stealth Elf or Wepter? Stealth Elf, um, definitely for me, just because she yeah, was one of my favorite characters. Her personality, inner gameplay, and just I would rather see more of her. The only version I didn't like was Superchargers, and um. For for me, the one I didn't like for Stealth Elf was the Ninja Stealth Elf from yeah. uh, from Swamp Force. And I, the thing with Eruptor is that all of his figures have looked the same. Even <laughs> Long Lance Eruptor looks the same. Yeah, so, just they try to make him look like um, a javelin or whatever. Like 
There, I, there's only so many ways you can make a rock monster look. Yeah, the arms are similar to Pinata too. Like, how could he hold a sword or whatever? My, fa how my favorite version of Eruptor is the one in Skylanders Academy. <laughs> my f favorite would have to be, uh, I think, just the light core of Pose. I really like that Pose. Where he's actually globbing um, a big oh, glob. Yeah. In front of you. Um, portals. Uh, wired, or would you want the USB type of like portal, like invisible wire portal like that, um, which was in only in Spiles Adventure, but it kind of would still be nice to have if they give you the option. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that the USB version was also in Giants, but I might be wrong on that. The USB version that was wireless was definitely a lot cooler and a lot more magical, but the problem was, what was not magical is the fact that you had to replace the batteries every yeah. time you played, it felt like. That's the so, only reason why I hate it, and I think most people hate, hated that too. So I definitely... They make, they make mice where it's like you can plug it in and use it as a wired mouse and charge it and then unplug it and use it as a wireless mouse, and that's how the portal of power should work. Oh yeah, that's a great idea. Um, yeah, I would go with wire definitely. Yeah, why? If, if between the two, definitely wire. Uh, giants or um, trap masters. I compared these because a lot of people called um trap ma uh trap masters a giants two point oh, and um, I really thought um that would be cool. So I would definitely say giants um just because they did light up um. Of course. Yeah. Plus, when you giants, think of a giant... Giants because of light core. And mm. also, Giants was the first time we had larger characters than normal. And then we had Swap Force, which were also larger than normal characters. And then we had the Trap Masters that were as big as the Giants. And to this day, I think Nightlight is like the biggest character of all time. And he's a Trap Master, not a Giant. So, Giants, just because they were the first things to do it. And they lit up. Giants, because I still think they're relevant, because if you're talking about the most tallest Skylander, Giants, definitely. But, of course, they're the most slowest still, I think, as well. And I don't think no other Skylanders sometimes slow, like Thumpback's really slow, but really powerful. I think that they still make it correct in the future games. I think they still give them a bigger balance and advantage in the game, so. Yeah. Like how they were, were supposed to be. Um, Sensei's or Swap Horse characters, I'd definitely choose Swap Horse, that's like a no-brainer. If you see this, like definitely swapping characters would be much cooler. Although I did like some of the Sensei's, like King Pen and Playable. With like one yeah, of the, few the, sensei's, the Sensei's look cool, but in all honesty, the only, there's nothing different about a Sensei character and a core character other than the fact that senseis are bigger than core characters and they have a cool base. The Swap Force characters were actually new and innovative and, like, were, you know, original and did something outside of the game that I thought was really innovative. So definitely, definitely, definitely Swap Force. Yeah, I feel like nowadays, when they're making this, these games, like, ever since Superchargers, we've been just getting all, like, one types of uh, new characters, all of them, like, uh, are the same height, just like the senseis, all of them are the same height. So they basically definitely look like the same height. But uh, when they came out, I think the senseis are just not even an inch taller than the superchargers, but they're a lot more detailed than supercharger figures, in my opinion. Um, mm -hmm. I would have had a supercharger on here, but that would probably be for like another time. Um, yeah. Do you want to get go into this? Maybe, might as well, we have five minutes. Might as well, might as um, well. But what's your favorite game uh, out of Imaginators uh, Giants? Sometimes they hold the Giants nostalgia and the Superchargers. I mean, so I was mentioning nostalgic times that they played the game. That's why they're it's their favorite game. But this see, is... if this was if this was between Spire's Adventure and Imaginators, it would definitely be Spire's Adventure because of the nostalgia factor. Yeah. But the fact of the matter is, Giants was basically an expansion of Spyro's Adventure, yeah. used the same gameplay mechanics. The only new thing was Brock's Battle Arena. At least and they had two different good good stories. Imaginators, the story does not compare for me for Giants, and the bigger characters 
So I would really have to go to the Giants on this one. I have to go with the Machinators because of the fact that you can make your own characters. I, I think it That's... really added something new to the game. Yeah, regardless that... of, of the uh, regardless of the game itself, the fact that you can make your own characters is why it beats Giants, in my opinion. Yeah, I still really like like the giant story, so I would have to, just because of the story, I would really have to go with giant still. Yeah, there's no denying that the giant story was better than Imaginators, yeah. really. Superchargers are trap team, definitely trap team for me. This is a big one nowadays because for some reason, Superchargers and, and of course, Superchargers was um, the fifth game, and Trap Team was the fourth game. And they're really close to each other, and a lot of people are this, debating over this topic. This is a really hard one for me. And, you know, I'm going to be making a video eventually yeah. talking about why Trap Team was the downfall of the franchise and not Superchargers. They're really close for me. Superchargers, in my opinion, had the far better story, but Trap Team had the better gameplay mechanics. Yes. So as far as a game is actually concerned, it comes down to how the game plays. And I have to go with Trap Team because of that, even though it's what killed the franchise. Mine is almost the opposite. I really enjoyed the Trap Team story a lot more, and of course, but a lot of people just didn't like Trap Team for, um, they think, I think most of the downfall was just because of the traps. I agree on that. I'm not really, um, being like, oh, way, Trap Team's the just the traps 100%. Were atrocious. Yeah, I wasn't just like, I'm just like, I'm a big supporter of Trap Team. But I'm just like, I do see the faults that people are saying about so much money and how that could make it, like, not be, make people want to buy it because of all the traps. And, and that's stuff. why it broke the franchise. That's why yeah. it broke the franchise. But still, as far as the game is concerned, in my opinion, Trap Team is the better game. Yep, and I really like the story and the Trap Masters. But I can't really say that about Supercharger. So our opinions are complete opposite, which that's really cool because... So your really favorite, works. just to clarify, which one's your favorite? Trap Team, okay. because of the story. So it's funny. We both like Trap Team for completely different reasons. Yeah, completely. That's what's funny about reasons. that. Um, but I'm not going to like sit here and argue either about people having different opinions either. But yep. yeah, Trap Team, I'm not even going to bother to... Um, disagree or like make everyone like Trap Team and the whole community, but I secretly like Trap Team's story a lot better. Um, this has been a good video. Make sure you yes, subscribe to Portal Master 9351's channel. He has a lot more discussion, long discussions, and, uh, and rant videos on his channel. <laughs> and that video about Trap Team killing the franchise, that's coming soon. Yep, just stay tuned to his channel. I have his link, uh, thing, uh, annotation to his channel on the screen because car cards and stuff, um, in slates have been added to YouTube, um, mm -hmm. since this year. So that's really cool, cool. And I'll link his channel in the description. So, um, in probably Instagram too. I'll just link his Instagram down below. So make sure you guys well, like, subscribe, and thank comment. Thank you for having me. And I'll see you guys on the next video. No problem.